Salutations, epic heroes. Prepare for a grand return to the noble domain of Northside TV. Here is the last spooky edition of the Weekly Northerner for Friday, November 1st, 2024. We hope you all enjoyed this year's Halloween events yesterday. The anti-Ohio anti kids were able to go to the carnival during advisory. And those of you who love to support a good cause like Riley Hospital for Children and wanted to get out of class for a bit, got to enjoy the spooky dance show. Hopefully no one got scared off the battle bus or off the Fortnite Island. The marching legends have thrashed it into the Indiana State School Music Association. Uh, finals after cracking the top 10 at semi-final state on Saturday. That's 10 years on the trot. They've advanced to the Isma State Finals in the 42nd time in Northside history. That's bloody brilliant. State finals are set for next Saturday, November 9th at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. The class Northside competes and will start at 1.20 p.m. The Marching Legends will perform at 2.50. General admission tickets are $25 for adults and $20 for students. So get there early to snag a good spot. We hope we see you there. Let's go! The robotics squad is absolutely banging. If you're thinking of jo joining the Iron Legends gang, pop into the room. H111, after school today, they get together every Wednesday and Friday from 2.35 to 7 p.m. from a proper chin wag. You can also catch Mr. Fisher in F209 or Mr. Hartman in E206 if you got any cues. If not, if it's not just a club mate, it's, it's a blooming career, no joke. <laughs> if you're struggling with your laptop, like when the Wi-Fi goes on, the fritz, or you need to grab a computer you send in for repairs, or maybe your charger is acting up. Last time I had tech troubles, I was at Tilted Towers pickaxing George Flowberry to 1 HP in Fortnite. And I was craving some ice cream, a nice frozen treat until I fixed my device. The East Atlanta Santa's new single should have been on repeat. You can swing by the tech support center in the media center during lunch to get some help. Or even scope, score a loner computer. And if you've got a loner, Check your school email to see if your real device is ready. The Technology Support Center only welcomes you during fourth period. Hey, all you wonderful teachers and staff. If you got any old dish rags, towels, or bath towels you're thinking to say goodbye to, we have some super exciting news. The Applied Skills Program is ready and eager to take them off your hands and restock their almost empty supply. Swing by and drop out your donations with the amazing Mrs. Painter in one C101. If you have any pasta sauce jars chilling at home that you, you need to use soon, don't recycle them. Keep them instead. Bring them to Mr. Winker in B110. The jars are used to mix ceramic glaze. Crazy ah weather check. Let's see what the crazy sky is going to do crazily. Do crazy tonight and the crazy days to come. The wind finally settles and it's shaping up to be a cold night under a mostly clear sky. Friday night lows dip into the low to mid 30s. So bundle up and get ready for a brief taste of winter for a few hours. Saturday is the best day of the weekend, obviously. Weather-wise, highs reach out into the lower 60s under a mixture of sun and clouds. Our next system brings rain showers late Saturday into Sunday. Dang, man. It's breezy Sunday with highs topping out in the middle 60s. The unsettled weather pattern continues into early next week with rain chances. Hopefully, we will stay dry as highs reach 70 degrees. And now for your freaking, freaky, legendary sports update. Uh, tonight, the great game of football does rage across the land. The legends fight in their final home battle as they face Concord. The drums shall sound the chambers field at 730. Tickets are only seven Washingtons. 
So bring that manyun. Students must show their marks to enter. Bring your furry jackets, hats, and gloves, for the air is bitter. Next week, the winter sports season begins for girls wrestling and girls basketball. Girls basketball has a home scrimmage tomorrow at 5 p.m. versus Churubusco, and their first game is on Wednesday, November 6th, when they host Warsaw. That's also the first night of parent-teacher conferences. Oh my god, the girls wrestling team has their first meet of the season on Tuesday, November 5th, when they host Garrett at 5.30. One more thing, boys basketball tryouts start in less than two weeks on Monday, November 11th. You must have a physical on file with the athletic office. If you consider trying out for this team of Hoopers, Let's squad up for Champions Together Basketball. We've got some open slots on the team. The first practice drops Monday, November 18th. We'll be opening and grinding every Monday and Tuesday after school till 3.30. Meet in Mrs. Painter's room C101 to get started. If you want to join the crew, drop a physical at the athletic office. No physical needed to hit practices. Want to help out? Check in with Mrs. Painter in C101 or Mr. Klein in the athletic office. Hear ye, hear ye, north side's on the hunt for a swimming coach or an assistant side coach, just a sidekick, to help bubble up the north side swim team for the splish splash in 24 through 25th season. Miss Witt, queen of coaching, is flowing with style as one of the head honchos. They're doing a water dance four times a week, Monday to Thursday and their splashy meets happen mostly on weekdays. If you're ready to dive in, whiz over an email to Mr. Klein and make waves. Miss Graham's dropping in again with the newest patch notes for the Media Center. We've got a sick 3DE update, some admin tips, dad jokes that'll make you take storm damage, and a ton more to boot your shields, so get those chug jugs ready. The Great Depression must have struck for the fifth time because we're down bad. <laughs> no taste of the 05 today because of those who know in still water. But there will be one next week. We won't starve you much longer. Anywho, if you have any teachers or staff happen to go to a cool restaurant on Coliseum downtown, outside the country, or even out of state, record your experience and send it to us, or maybe we'll do a taste of the 05 as long as we get some lunch. Good morning, legends. This is Athletic Director Klein with some Friday morning presidential wisdom. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Theodore Roosevelt. Hi, Northside. Welcome back to Media Moments with Miss Graham. Uh, today, I wanted to point out a resource that I'm not certain I've ever told you guys about. Did you know that we have every single yearbook dating back to the first year that Northside High School was a high school? That was in 1929. This right here is the yearbook from that year. There were 97 graduates in that first class um, who graduated in 1929. And obviously, 2029 is coming up, so we will be at our centennial year, or our 100th year, in just a few years. If you're interested in seeing some of the yearbooks that we have, we have everything from 1929 through 2024. This is our last year yearbook. You're welcome to use these when you are in the library. It does require a couple of stipulations. We keep them behind the desk. You do have to ask for them. You do have to trade one in before you get another one out, etc. You don't write in them. You make certain that they come back in pristine condition because this is a legacy um, that we're holding here. And 
they don't check out of the library. So if you're going to use the yearbooks, you have to use them in-house. But I think it's kind of cool to see the history of the school, to see the things that used to be and the things that might be with you guys as you, you know, move through Northside and on to graduation. And we also have this beauty. Firstly, I know, I'm a weirdo. I love the smell of old books. It's one of the reasons I'm a librarian. But this book right here is from the Fort Wayne High School back in 1897. 1897. Jeez. It's really fascinating to look through because um, the graduating class from 1897 uh, from the Fort Wayne High School, uh, there were only 37 of them. <laughs> and this book is so like personally written because it's only a couple of students that they were covering. So if you ever want to borrow this one, you may have to leave behind some collateral um, because it's such a precious and very old book but it is very, very cool to see what a yearbook looked like before yearbooks were yearbooks. They do have pictures, they're in black and white, and there are very few of them, but it is still a really cool book to look through and to see what was interesting to people, teens your age, back in the late 1800s. Hopefully you'll come down and see our yearbook collection. Have a good day. Good morning, Northside. I'm Julian Johnson, your Student Council President. And I'm Giselle. This is your Student Council update for the week. Next week, on Thursday, we have a new theme dress-up day. The theme is Minions. Students wear yellow, purple, and overalls if you have them. Teachers, dress up as any of the Despicable Me side characters. Mr. West, please dress up as Gru. And remember, even on dress-up days, you must follow our school's dress code policy. Let's show our school spirit and dress up. We also have an important update coming from Red Cross. Attention all students 16 years or older. There will be a blood drive taking place at our school on Friday, November 15th. Please consider donating blood to this amazing cause. Wait, why should I donate my blood for the blood drive? Because according to the American Red Cross, one donation can help save more than one life. That means if, say, 50 of you donate blood, we can save over 50 lives. Blood is also essential for trauma victims and patients undergoing surgeries. Did you know that a single car accident victim can require as many as 100 units of blood? Okay, so it's definitely for a great cause, but is there anything else in it for me? Well, since you asked, yes. If you donate, you'll receive a free $10 Amazon gift card. Sign me up. Wait, how can we sign up? It's easy. If you're 16 years or older, just talk to your history teacher. Either Mr. Murtis, uh, Ms. Heisman, Mr. Tobin, or Ms. Hans. They have the two necessary permission slip forms that must be completed and returned, as well as any information that you might need to sign up. And once you've completed both permission slip forms, simply return them to your history teacher. Also, take a moment to look at the height and weight requirements. Finally, make sure that you bring the proper ID when you go to donate. Your student ID will work just fine. Sounds great. See you in two weeks on Friday, November 15th. included our partnership with JA as one of the most meaningful things that we do. And we serve thousands upon thousands of students, and this is still something in our minds that we prioritize and that we always talk about. And I think if I could share any words of wisdom to anyone out there in the community, they have to get involved. Like raise their hand to be part of it. As an employer, what this has done for my team and how they view students is the most impactful thing that I can share. As, as we serve almost 4,000 students a year learning here on our campuses, the perspective that our partnership with 3DE has given our team who's boots on the ground with those students every day, is, it's indescribable. Or
Westside High School. Um, we have an exciting day planned for you here. How many of you have been um, to, to a parking location at all of your life? Uh, hello, uh, Northside Northerners. What's up? I'm here with today. Oh, Mr. Fritza. And I didn't know you were asking. Me. Well, now I am, and now I will be asking you some some questions. I think around ten questions to be exact, and then uh, I think ten more. Just just cause, just cause I can. Um, this is a long episode. Yes, but. First question is just why did you, why did you come to Northside? I came to Northside for the opportunities um, here. I enjoy teaching math, and I love this age group. Um, I love teaching the freshmen. I think that it's a good group of kids, and I think I can make a difference. So that's pretty much why I came to Northside. Right, do you plan to do like anything after school? Would you ever set that up? Set anything up for after school? Um, I've thought about after school stuff. Um, one thing I was really passionate about a lot last year, but being my first year and stuff, was like something for kids that might not have um, a father figure in their life. Um, something that would involve that. Um, I'm also uh, really big into sports, um, mainly football, um, Minnesota Vikings. So something to do with sports, um, I think would also be a lot of fun. How do you balance the work and life? Currently. Oh man, um, you know, as a teacher, you do have a lot of responsibilities. Um, you have a lot of grading you have to do, uh, along with you know living your normal life. Uh, you know, just like students go home every day, teachers want to go home every day too. Um, you really just have to to manage your time well. You have to get really good at time management, um, and that was one thing I didn't do well in college, but I've improved since. So, yeah. You said you uh, teach math, right? I do. Uh, do you would you want to evolve like past just the basic first level of math, like go to like geometry or any of that stuff? Um, I do enjoy geometry. Um, last year I actually taught sixth grade math, so um, I have increased. I've stepped up going from sixth grade math to um, freshman algebra, uh, but. I, I like where I'm at, so I think that's where my answer is right now. I enjoy teaching freshman algebra. Um, I still have yet to get through the rest of the year, so I want to make sure I can teach everything. Okay. <laughs> Did, were you interested in any other subjects in math? Or I'm not math, but any other subjects? Yeah, I really enjoy um, social studies. Shout out to Mr. H. Um, I think social studies is a really cool um, just topic in general, and learning all about the past. I think it's very interesting. Okay, now I'm gonna do like the 10 quick fire, this yeah. that type of question. So, okay. would you rather 
be on a be in like a cabin, winter mountain type of vacation, or be out yeah. on the beach, you know, swimming and all that. I'm a cabin winter type of guy. I, you know, Florida, too many hurricanes, sharks, tornadoes, spiders. I don't like that stuff. I would rather be skiing and snowing than yeah. you know, there's snow. Yeah, be fun. Uh, uh, coffee or tea? I'm a tea guy. I don't really like either. I don't know. They're, they're all, both okay. Uh, video games are okay. Video games? I don't know. Like, my attention span's too short for movies. <laughs> I have to be doing something. My hands, yeah. I have to be playing a game, whether it's mouse and keyboard or controller. I'm definitely a video game guy. Would you rather sleep in a car for a week? Or would you rather sleep? On a on a grass field for two days. No bugs. Um, that's actually a great question because I love air conditioning. Um, I think it's one of the best inventions ever created. Yeah, a car can be like compact. And yeah, I feel like I can I, I can get out of my car though in between sleeping, right? Yeah. Um, you know what? You only live once. That's the motto. Let's go with the field. Two days on the field. Yep. Would you rather be the president or be a Pokemon trainer? Pokemon trainer, without a doubt. Are you kidding me? You know how much stuff you have to do as the president? Whereas if you had a, like, if I had a Charizard, I could fly that to school. <laughs> like, I could do a whole bunch of stuff. If somebody was messing with me, I'd just be like, yo, Squirtle, go ahead with that, dude. You know? Like, I don't want to make it, you know, violent, but a little, it's a little just Squirtle tap. Yeah, yeah. I never hurts nobody. Just get some wet. Yeah, but what, what about you for that question? Well, I've never been into Pokemon, but I'd much rather be a Pokemon trainer. Oh, it just sounds like there's a lot of cooler stuff. You gotta get into it, man. And also, a lot, a lot of people hate you if you're the president. Yeah, yeah and, and I don't like that. But, um, one more. Take hey, cameras out, by the way. I know. I like looking out here and looking philosophical. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I know the answer to this already, but, uh, folks are the most. No more YouTube videos than TV. YouTube videos. While I'm eating, maybe like a Chick-fil-A sandwich, watching a video, there's nothing but. Yeah, I see some people eat and read books, I don't I can't do that, that takes too many hands. I only have two. But yeah, but that's, that's it for the Staff 101. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, sir, for coming out. Wait, I have a question for you. Do you remember my name? No. <laughs> Mr. Pritchett. There you go, come see me up in F305. Just cause. Just, just cause. And he, he likes math and yeah. teaching and video games. So you can relate yeah. to him on that. I know why you're seeing him. He's a cool dude. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hello, Northside. We have a special edition of Dad Jokes this week. We're going Halloween jokes. You ready? Always. Always ready. He's coming. Let's see. All right, you ready? Why was the jack-o'-lantern afraid to cross the road? Because uh, he didn't want to get smushed. I mean, kind of. He had no guts. Yeah, because we had to take the guts. Where do celebrities go on Halloween? So you got to think Hollywood. Celebrities on Halloween. Hmm, frog. I'm going to say pumpkin patch. I'm just going. Pumpkin patch? That's a, that's a good guess. How about Malibu? I was thinking something like Hollywood, though. Malibu. So, how would you make a skeleton laugh? Tickle his funny bone. Hey, tickle his funny bone. Why is a ghost a messy eater? Are you a messy eater? Nah? All right. So, that's not going to help you. So, why is a ghost a messy eater? He's always goblin. What do ghosts use when they're doing their makeup? A ghost. Makeup. It's called mas mascara. Oh. It is vanishing cream. It's a ghost, you can't see them. They vanish. What music do mummies listen to? Mummies. Rap. Hey, it's rap. <laughs> Good job. Um, what's the best dessert to eat 
on Halloween. Pumpkin pie. Ice. Ice cream. Ice cream. Very good. Um, what do you catch from a vampire in the winter? What could you catch from a vampire? Oh, no. oh. The flu? Uh, I, I heard the f- frostbite. <laughs> frostbite. Why are ghosts bad liars? Because you can see through them. Yeah, hey, you can see right through them. Um, why don't mummies take vacations? Why do you take a vacation? You want to what? Unwind? <laughs> that's, that's not. That's not <laughs> They're afraid to relax and unwind. All right, last one. Why did the ghost go to the party? The ghost goes to the party to get a boo. <laughs> to for the booze. Good job. All right. We are out this week. Later. Good morning, legends. Go ahead and stand up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now take a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Gigantic shout out. I mean, thanks for watching. That's all for today. Gigantic shout out to the Crash Bandicoot, aka B Rax Bonchi. Fall back Sunday. Have a great day, players. We'll see you on the Battle Pass next week. Stack those V Bucks and get that Munion. Don't forget to set your clocks back one hour before going to bed Saturday night. Sewing up to school an hour before anybody else on Monday would be insane work.